Hi there, welcome back to Snail Wars, where we make the galaxy safe again and look for the secrets of Nautil on this crazy universe. We're just, we have acquired through more administrative efficiency, Grongari as a direct control. As you can see, it is a grossly mismanaged planet. And we're going to fix this in this episode. And the people there will have to suffer a bit. <laughs> but it's all good. It's all good. It will be done in no time. In no time. Come on, just just another another little Chinese dam for us. Progress cannot be halted. Yeah, starvation. You'll get through it. You'll get through it. Let's look at the spaceport. What do they have? Solar panel, synchronized defenses, observatory. Oh, we can go for crew quarters. That doesn't cost anything. And it's good. Yeah, there's quite... What is what is going on here? Hmm. That is definitely the question. What is going on in this universe? It's really... A universe that is controlled by one giant pact, the so-called Condine Pact, that has uh, started to exist once the War in Heaven started. Now the War in Heaven is over and the pact still exists. It's full of our enemies and we are only protected by our overlords, the Lavis Mediators, that survived the War in Heaven. So we have completed shield harmonics, even better shields. 5% better. Let's see what we'll do next. What will we research next? What is good for us? Now, in in terms of reforming the Empire quickly, gravitational analysis would be very good. Planetary signal boosters is a very powerful technology too. But tachyon lances, I think tachyon lances cannot be ignored. It's a little bit... Yeah, I mean... I think we need the Tachyon Lances, because they do so much damage. On the other hand, all of this is... it's like cherry picking. That also doesn't really help us at the moment, so I think it's okay to take the Tachyon Lance. Let's do it. Let's get this under our belt. <laughs> And watch Grongari while we're at it. Because it's really a one by one step forward here with our new governor, Shellmaker. We can already level this up to a planetary capital, which we will, because if we do that, we can build another mausoleum. So let's go, let's see, it's the place to upgrade, very nice, planetary capital is coming, very very good. So now again our little snails should be growing here, that will be really helpful. System survey complete. Yeah, this is actually a live optimization of this Grongari planet. You can go, if you want to optimize planets, you can go after a few thumb rules. You want to specialize, that's one thing. So you can use special edicts or you can use assistant, assisting research. Because assist research really does make a big, big difference. And... Uh, to leverage that, you should, should specialize as much as you can. The, the, the planets to specialize are mo mostly the, the really big planets. Because there, there it pays off to have one scientist just flying around in your orbit. In the smaller ones, that doesn't pay off. In the bigger ones, that does pay off. So there's that. 
The second thing is... One bonus is that is that enough to yeah to to justify to have like a mineral thing here? It's not. I mean, I've I've thought around it. In, usually, as a thumb rule, you can you can see like if you have plus one on a on a terrain, you can ignore it if you want to specialize the planet. If you don't specialize, then yeah, of course, use it. But that way you can definitely ignore it. It starts getting difficult at plus two. At plus two you should normally go for the resource that is on the field. But as I said, you can get really, really high um, bonuses for research and then it might change again. Let's see. Let's see though. <laughs> Yeah, we still have the late game sickness of the game stopping randomly. But it's not that long. Look, it, it's even skipped some days. Let's see, we have completed the research of matter compression, improving our armor even more. Pressing suitable materials into ultra dense forms is a cheap and efficient way to improve their ability to absorb weapons' great impacts. We have super shells now for our snails. So, uh, there's there's more to cherry pick from. Like, of course, the extraction patterns are very good, but mm, like, if if this reaches over fifty percent, I would be inclined to go for the extraction patterns again. Otherwise, we'll just go for something that improves, yeah, our our general, yeah, our our hull integrity. I think that's that's the most powerful thing here. So we'll go for hull integrity five. Let's go. Even more ship hit points. Grongari has finished its surface construction queue again. Now we can upgrade this building. Just to improve the habitability again. And then what will we do then? I mean, there's something that we can... Uh, build here Research complete. and what should we build here definitely should have something here like the grand mausoleum i mean we have the planetary capital we should be able to build it but we cannot for some reason this is slightly bugged so uh, what are we going for we don't need the ethics divergence reduction here they already have i think minus 75 or something crazy so we'll go for more happiness in that case and more happiness is built by the monument of purity which we'll add in here move this guy to get the happiness done quickly so edict duration has gone up by 10 percent more aggressive information campaigns improve the populace's receptiveness to edicts. So now, now, haha, the cherry picking starts again. Now leader lifespan plus five years is very effective now. I mean, let's see, we have how many readers? I mean, leaders, it is, it is going to be um, yeah, a calculation example. If you want so so let's see what what do we get with that we have 22 leaders so uh, how much would we gain 22 x5 is uh, 125 I think that's I think that's the that is how they how long they they now live so it would be something it would be a good good thing would be close to um, the same for one more leader capacity but as we have the influence that is a better choice at the moment Talent acquisition is something we don't need at the moment. So we'll go for even more sentient resource management. There we go. That's 
Ivan Sajanovic has leveled up, though. <laughs> Substance abuser. Poor guy. Let's have a look at Grongari. Yeah, we're building something good. Let's, let's actually bring that one here. So we don't miss out. Now that is also something that can be replaced in time. We'll see about that soon. Let's have a look at the spaceport. We, we already have an observatory, so that's good from that standpoint. System survey complete. And that is coming. Mm. Don't need that much power, so we'll remove that power plant and replace it with a basic science lab. Here we'll leave it because we also still need a bit of power. Power here is good, power here is good. Here we should really... Um, yeah, we should, we should stay with that choice. But this should also be replaced in time with a science lab. Ship hull points coming. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> hey, he's got level he's leveled up. Let's see. Now who can we put there? Yeah. It it is always an opportunity to um to make people learn to have such a planet. So every time a, a building finishes you gain more experience. So we we should have a younger one. Probably Lavinia Ghadora. And on Lucius's wrist, we will put Shalmaka. He is pretty good now. So, Grongari, yes. <laughs> Lavinia Ghadora needs to learn a lot. We'll put her there. It should help in time. Yeah, look, they're much more happy now, much more productive in time. System survey complete. That's what improving brings you. Yeah, we're ignoring that. Um, yeah, and we'll we'll go for biolabs because biolab improve the general. Uh, ability to research more like better leaders more leaders that's what we have in that part so we'll definitely recklessly go for that with the with the things that we are reworking the the the, the research already there will be ignored like that but the things we're reworking we'll definitely go for the bio labs as they are so good in a yeah, in an ideal situation for research. Let's see. Hey, hey, hey. Alberto, one stone. Getting up there. The Grungari planet. Will be very good in time. Let's, let's have a look at the planet summary. Yeah, we should have someone popping up here soon. For another bio lab. <laughs> We're reducing the overflow of energy credits a bit, but only a bit. We're focusing on our little world here. Let's have a look at Grongari. What would we be like living there? It is a, a dry world, it seems. No, it, it is an alpine world. So what, what can the snails do there? They can put out their skis and go skiing on the on the on the big mountains in this alpine world they will be happy there drifting in the snow finding their way around the universe oh and so many minerals we still have 
Let's have a look. Let's bring them to the Labis Mediators. Hey there, guys. We have something for you. It's kind of useless to give them a lot of um, energy because they'll overextend them, which is also not good. Grongari here. <laughs> We'll improve and improve and improve <laughs> as much as we can. The rig and spice. Yeah, we need that. We need the spice to flow. The sentient resource management is one of the most powerful things paired with administrative efficiency. Because really you need uh, two... Uh, leaders for each planet if you want to make it really optimal so it's going to be like a really big leader republic hey physics research has been finished tachyon lances we have now very powerful weapons archimedes we have the improved version of that already so we'll go for shield harmonics now i think that's the most powerful thing to go for Mm hmm There are defensive packs forming. Yeah, I, I think in my opinion, the rep packs and the Mytherine should form a pact. Oh god, the Levis Mediators declared again. On the crude sovereignty. Now, now. <laughs> now, again, it's coming. A condign pact against our overlords. Hey there, guys, we'll give you something. Mm, 1,000 of that, and we'll also give you a lot of these. Just make sure you win this war, right? You should be able to build, like, some more battleships with that stuff. And we hope you win this, because that's the only way we can help you. Let's go. Oh no, Ulrich Meyer died at the age of 123. Oh no, that's tragic. We'll have to look for for something more. Like these old guys, we often have them in the sectors. So we'll need another uh, sector guy for the Seekers of Nautilon. Let's have a look. Do we have good governors coming? Not really. We have good scientists. Also, not really. So, mm, what should we go for? One of the youngest is Fang Quang. Then, but I think that is also architectural interest is not so bad, and she's only thirty six. So we'll recruit her. And um, who should be put in charge of this sector? Let's have a look. Who is best? Who is best? Shell Macker would be a, definitely a possibility. And hmm. Yelena Kutsin would be the thing, the 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 guy or the girl to go for. And then we'll put Shellmacker, the substance abuser, in, in charge of this sector, right? Or Rudolf Keller. I think Rudolf Keller is a good choice. He'll live a little bit longer. There we go. System survey complete. Francesca Di Bella, mm, our spark of genius scientists leveling up. Yeah, we're, we're getting it. <laughs> we're getting it down. Hey there. What's going on? I'll just go to improve these 
up to the max for now. System, Level up Lavinia that way. Episciella system. Oh. The Kurgans. Oh no. The Kurgans are getting they are getting back. Except the, the, the this autocracy also gains a lot of spots here. It's crazy what's what's going on there. I don't understand it at all. What I understand though is we have to be watchful. We'll yeah, we'll we'll have to take maybe some borders stuff again. The future let us continue, the spice must flow. Yeah, this is um one of the deals you should accept. This spice that you're getting there is actually improving your happiness by 5%. And that is a really good thing. I mean, if you have... The bigger your empire is, the better that deal is. And we have a size that is definitely considerable for that kind of thing. Let's see what we can even more get from this galaxy, this universe. We have that Grongari that is now really gaining ground towards the other planets. Nautilon's odds. I think everything is pretty optimized around here already. But Grongari is a nice place to, to do this. And actually, oh, very often you only need the planetary capital plus a frontier hospital to make it really good there. Make the people really happy there. Hey, look at that. <laughs> we can build another ship. <laughs> Let's have a look. Uh, where can we build it? Suhiri. We, we, should, we should overextend a bit. Right, we can go for one battleship. It's okay. bring us a little bit over the top but that's okay for, for for us oh we should watch we should watch because it's lagging a bit this means always there is a very very big battle going somewhere let's have a look there is ooh, there's a lot of oh my god that's what's going on right that is what is going on here that is a big problem oh my god There's some more stuff coming here. And this is fastest. Wow, that's just an insane... An insane battle. The Levis Mediators against the Condign Pact. The biggest battle, the biggest... Wow, you can imagine. Aren't you moving? You are moving too, right? Resume of yellow. Adaptable. Oh god, what a crappy leader. Resilient. <laughs> These guys. Wow, my graphics card is totally... It's sweating. It's, it's giving up, probably. Oh god, I, I think our protectors are losing this. Actually. They're coming with this... They're too slow. Their ships are made... They, they, their ships are much too too slow. So speed really, really matters. And look at this. Is there something coming in still? For them? From them? I don't think so.
That may be the end of their superiority. Let's have a look at the relative power. Ooh, they are below us. <laughs> That's not boding well. Oh my god, look at that. Yeah, they are they are losing. Will we lose too? I mean, if they are losing, we are close to losing. Against the Condyme Pact. So my personal recommendation, if, if, if you're in a war in heaven, or join the big pact. That's the safe way. <laughs> that is really the safe way. But still, we need research. It's the only way. May we may survive for a while still. Replace this with a basic science lab. This is okay, and this will be replaced with another basic science lab. This not this. Mm. This is okay. It was a nice dream, Levis Mediators, but now you're finished. Probably they have some fleet somewhere still. The others have lost a lot too, though. Not nearly enough. Now watch them get taken over in no time. The star spawn of Cthulhu occupying a planet, the misophons are occupying a planet. Woo. War declaration. The Gox wish to declare war against the Levis mediators. <sighs> Independence. Should we vote yes? I mean, this... It might... I mean, it will bring them down, but it they are down already. Declare war. A war of independence. Of all of these systems. <laughs> that will be the last war we can do. Hmm. Now, I think we have to join in. So we're at least in some kind of thing. Our demands is the assembly of Gox Dominions gains independence. And we also gain independence, I hope. Wow, that might have been a little bit premature. But on the other hand, they can, cannot protect anything anymore, so... Protectors of the inner shell shall attack. Mm, but I think not yet, not yet. We have broken free. Let's wait for a bit. We'll still build something, I think. Something is coming. <laughs> oh my. This is the beginning of the end because the Empire, the universe hates us. Everything hates us. Rebels of Levis Mediators are attacking these guys. 
the best curl system in our space. What? <laughs> uh, neutral fleets there and... What's going on here? So these are both rebels of the Levis Mediators. The Gox Liberty Brawl. This definitely doesn't make sense, though they are hostile to us, even though they are on our side. Where are they going, even? We have to know. Are they going somewhere? They're preparing a jump to Wexelia. Which is here. Well, it might be this is coming to an end. <laughs> and now the really surprising thing is we will probably not help our guys. Um, even though it it is tempting somehow. What could we, what should we do? Mm. Do we have anything to gain? No. Oh, we have enemy demands of Gefarak in the Minox system. Let's have a look. Gefarak. Minok. Where is the Minox system? It's here. What? It's here. How is that? Rebels? Rebels? There's something extremely wrong here. We're on the side of the Levis mediators here. Aha. Uh -huh. So we're the defenders, actually. So we are not at war with the Levis. And not at war with the Levis. Yeah, they still like us. But we have something to gain, which is the Minox system. And this is a war goal. This means... Actually... We shall fly over to the Minox system and take it. Minox system. There we go. I think we have enough. <laughs> there, we'll just jump over there and, and get all of this down, right? What is that? A fortress. Very good fortress. Ooh, let's wait here, guys. Ah, yeah, there we there we come. And then a shift clicking our way through. Look at that! Wow. How long will this be going on? We have won this war. No demands have been enforced. What? Are you guys mad? Alright, let's fly back. That is crazy. Come on, we have won this war and no demands. Uh, but we wanted something. Oh my god, we could have gotten a planet. Uh, I hate it. Let's fly back. Will not ever. Will not ever help these guys again. Never ever again. Construction 
complete. Glungari. Need another biolab. Same goes here. And the assembly of Gox Dominions joined the Condine Pact. What? I fail to understand this like in its full ramification. I really fail to understand. <laughs> it makes no sense anymore to me. It is out of this world. Some some developments are a little really strangely crazy. Can we declare war now? We can declare war again, but why? What is it? What what are we? The Levis mediators are custodial. They are not our overlords anymore. We can invite them into a federation. Let's form another federation. Oh my god. <laughs> we can prevail against that which threatens us all. Join us. Yeah, of course. <laughs> we'll invite them. Come on. <laughs> to influence each one. Each month. Each month. Mm. How strong are you still? You have been reduced to rubble, I guess. The Awakened Empire. It's better than no Federation, right? Hmm. Let's have a look. They are members of the Condine Pack. We can communicate. Ask for association status. Uh, never. Yeah, well, well, we'll redo that. Come on. Invite to a Federation. We'll do that. System survey complete. We are in a Federation. <laughs> Decided to join the Grand Entente. <laughs> And now we need to we need to find guys that still like us and that are not in the Condine Pact. These guys will support their independence. Oh God, no! We'll not support their independence. That is crazy. The Hanmur hegemony. They are. They could be. I mean, let's offer them association status. We'll need to <laughs> expand the Grand Entente. <laughs> we need to do this. Uzanake Foundation. Oh, they, uh, they don't like us. We have Interstellar Space Roach Foundation. They're a vessel of the Misophons. We'll not support them. And we have these guys. They are part of that Federation. And we have the Yeon. Oh. The Lathrapian League. They're a protectorate under the consolidated Bunleys. Hmm. Part of a federation. They're a vessel. Curator Sigma and Club. <laughs> no. The Varal Viv Archivists, they won't do anything. The Ultur might be... no. So that's all that we had here. Oh my god. <laughs> oh no. We'll have to dissolve a big part of our fleet now. most effective to dissolve is definitely corvettes so we'll have to do a lot of disbanding until we can live again so to say and then we'll build instead 
a very big fleet of um, of corvettes for the Federation. Oh man, can we? Yeah, I think through Enter we can agree with that. At least that is possible. It's crazy. We need another fleet manager thing. Another day. Nice. Still going. Still going well. Oh my god. <laughs> Come on. We'll put everything. We'll put all of our covets in that Federation fleet. You should you should be able to just put them over there. There's still so much to do here, come on. Now we have a good fleet. Uh, let's have a look at the Federation fleet. Who is leader? We are the leader. Let's have a look at the Federation ship designer. Yeah, we can go for these ships that are, are absolutely nice. We'll build a lot of these ships, so let's see. Oh, we can muster 398. Yeah, that's very good, so. Let's go for that, let's do that. Uh, we have Suhiri. Let's put some battleships to work there. Colossus class. Is that really good though? I think ours are better. Power 25, power 100, wow. No, I think we're getting relatively good things from, from the high tech of the Levis Mediators there. So, uh, definitely go for some corvettes there now. There we go. Can we go for a research agreement with you guys? That we, <laughs> that we cannot do anymore. They have a custodial attitude. It needs to protect us from the crisis currently threatening the galaxy. Yeah, it's the Condign Pact Crisis. <laughs> Protect us. <laughs> Need to rebuild. <laughs> we'll do our utmost to improve the, the Federation fleets. Hey, we have completed the research of Hull Integrity. Now it's... We have another strategy now. We have to distribute. We have to actually do some... This and this or that <laughs> evaluating. Huh. Will we go strike craft attack speed? I don't I don't know. I don't think so. Um, maybe maybe we'll go for that. Better military station health. It only helps us though, but it's pretty good. The Giga Cannon will have to wait. Let's go for that. We'll still improve our ways, but there is, I think, something that we can do now. In the kill data system on Breek. 
actually fly over there with our army and enter the orbit. Can we? Our native interference policy does not allow. Can we change that policy? I think we can change it again now. Ah, where's the policies? Native interference. Cannot invade worlds. Unrestricted. Can invade native worlds. We will try that. There we go. So you guys, can you land the armies here now? Yes, so do that. Do that. <laughs> There's some people defending here, but not really many. We'll take them and take them out. We cannot go for genocide anymore though, because that's much too risky now. System survey complete. Let's have a look. We are fighting. <laughs> the casinos are no match for us. And we will have something to... Yeah, we'll embark us all. Now we can resettle. Let's have a look at the surface. These guys, yeah, they, they should be... They should be thankful, right? So we have a resettlement of... Mm, yeah, we can go from... from Nautilon's Breath over to Breek. The kill data system. We'll send over some. You can go there. We settled you. Neptulus and We'll send over you. The cruisers for Nautilon Prime system. Yeah. Send over you. Now let's look at our other policies. Slavery prohibited. Yeah, we don't want to do too much to make them sour with us. Mm. We have Breek here. These guys are a little xenophobe. Oh my god. There's going to be problems, 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 but still. They can still replicate. This means we will fly in more Nautiloids. Let's see. We'll have Lucius's Rest here and Breek on the other side. Let's fly someone over. Massive resettlement. Nautilon's Dune. Also a very good planet. Let's resettle. Nautilon's Hadnock Prime. Yes, why not Hadnock Prime? You can go over here. Nihal Prime. Wow, it's terrible. I mean, we should really be able to reform. In the area Husila Prime. Let's resettle here. Now everything is full with our guys. Breek. 
yeah, it's a very good planet for the Nautiloids. Is that a primitive factory? Who needs that? Who even wants that? Ah. <laughs> uh, we need some kind of planetary capital there. Well, thankfully, we have enough here to do everything we want to do. We need to find a good field. So, um, I think we'll we'll rename that that planet in uh, Nautilons. Mm. dynamic because we can be dynamic again now we can do something like this and we will we will do that so uh, for now thank you for watching next time we'll look into nautilon's dynamic a little bit more to optimize that planet as well also grongari is still not finished so there's a lot to do and we still have to expand the federation fleet so we may be able <laughs> to fence someone off. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Happy gaming to you. This is Immanuel Khan signing out.